Let's go down to Marissa Rio and Marissa. The state argued Chad Daybell was driven by money, power and sex to commit these murders. That's right, Kirsten and Derek. This is an extremely complicated case going all the way back to the summer of 2019 when Lori Vallow moved with her two kids, seven-year-old JJ Vallow and 16-year-old Tylee Ryan to Salem, Idaho to be with Daybell. Daybell at the time ran a small publishing company with his wife Tammy Daybell where he released several doomsday focused books. In October of that same year, Tammy Daybell passed away. According to her obituary, she died in her sleep of natural causes, but authorities began to grow suspicious when Daybell married Vallow two weeks later. Police also began searching for the two kids in November after relatives raised concerns. The search for JJ and Ty Lee quickly made headlines across the country. During the search, police say the Daybells lied about the children's whereabouts before leaving Idaho. Their bodies weren't found until June of 2020 in a shallow grave on a property belonging to Daybell. Both Daybell and Vello were charged with murder almost a year later in May of 2021. Chad Daybell's trial lasted for almost two months and featured testimony from dozens of witnesses. Prosecutors also showed cell phone messages between Daybell and Vallo with one reading that there is a plan being orchestrated for the children sent shortly after Tammy Daybell had died. Daybell will be back in court tomorrow for the start of his sentencing process. As for Vallo, she is currently saving, serving a life sentence for the deaths of her two children. In studio tonight, Marissa Rio for News Now.